No, not Tennessee. Everybody is getting affected by this illegal immigration thing. It's going everywhere. Every state now is a border state. Every state. Tennessee, no, not Tennessee. Watch. Hundreds of people going through the legal immigration process could end up right here in the mid-state. That's right. This, as polls here and around the country show, immigration is now the top issue for Americans leading up to the presidential election. Box the city of Franklin received this letter from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. In short, it says that hundreds of people going through the immigration process could end up in Middle Tennessee cities. Oof. Last fall, DHS sent this official notice saying nearly 600, quote, non-citizens were looking to travel to these areas. Highlight. Don't you love that? Non-citizens. Boy, fighting tooth and nail to not call it what it is. It's law breakers, illegal immigrants. It took me seven years to get the proper paperwork and visa to come to this country. Applying and being told, nope, nope, until one day we were. And you know what? Good. We should have been denied a couple of times to make sure that we were vetted properly and that my parents were vetted properly. Then I came to this country, served honorably in the United States Marine Corps. It's just a way to do it. Not this way. Not this way. On your screen, most of them coming from Guatemala, Venezuela, Honduras, and Mexico. It's very troubling that I bet you the two that they're not mentioning there Middle East and China. Guarantee they're not mentioning it. You know, someone can come to this country, name Nashville or Greater Nashville as the destination, and we're not finding out about it uh, for months later. U.S. Congressman Andy Ogles telling Fox 17 News that he had a conference call with DHS yesterday with a series of questions, including a request for updated numbers, how people will be tracked, and if they have prior convictions. Isn't that amazing? You get harder checkups to go into Disney than you do to come through that border. Nashville, Tennessee, I was just there recently. Beautiful city, beautiful. We went to the Grand Ole Opry and uh, actually visited also Memphis uh, and went to Graceland, you know? Uh, it's sad, it's sad to see what's happening and, and um, it's just crazy, it's crazy. Uh, any good answers. The notice says DHS may release non-citizens from custody who have been fully screened and vetted pending the outcome of their immigration process. They'll also have check-ins with ICE. Going through the process correctly would mean applying for some sort of uh, visa and so coming across uh, the border and... See, I believe that's all lies. I don't think they're being vetted at all. I think they're just being cut loose uh, because why would that be any different than what's happening in New York than what's happening in Texas? Why all of a sudden, for Tennessee, they're vetting them and uh, ICE is doing checkups. That's all BS. They're being cut loose everywhere. And that is a fact. They're being cut loose everywhere because the idea is to destroy the fabric of America. That's the idea. That's the war that's been declared in this country from within we're getting a bunch of middle easterns we're getting a bunch of uh chinese nationals uh it's not just hispanics it's not just venezuelans guatemalans mexicans it's not just them uh it's uh it's an invasion full throttle uh and uh, it's crazy it's crazy because uh there is no way that we're going to be able to control what's about to happen. 